What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. And up until today, I've always been an iron boy. But today, I become an iron man. Truth is, I am Iron Man. That's right, guys. Xtool has done it again. They have brought us the next biggest, baddest laser on the market, the Xtool D1 Pro. Now, an Iron Man Red. With this new unit, Xtool has listened to a lot of our pain points and actually done something about it. So let's start super small and talk about the fact that we've got a couple extra zip ties right here to hold this drag chain away from everything so it doesn't catch your material when it's moving around. Also, did I mention the sexy new color? Ooh. Ooh. I love it. And I know there's been a little confusion out there on a email that went out or some sort of communication that made it sound like the laser can engrave in color. It can, kinda. So what they were referring to is with the 20 watt unit, you actually can oxidize on metal and change it different colors. Here's the test grid I ran. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna ignore that I accidentally didn't do this row for 85 but you can kind of see some of these little different colors. Now they get better results. Um, I will put that up here someplace um, and let you see how they got, cause they got some like really good like blues and reds in there. And that could totally be the type of metal. I just had some plate laying around so I grabbed it and tried to test it out. But if you can nail some of those colors that they nailed in their example, we're gonna see some really cool projects. Next, with the extra power from that 20 watt laser head, we're looking at easily being able to double your speed in some things. They're saying this machine will actually reach speeds of 400 millimeters per second. That's crazy. First up, if you'll notice this little guy right here, limit switches. So a lot of you guys have been waiting for limit switches, or as I like to call them, training wheels, and now you got them. Okay, kidding a little bit about the training wheels comment. If you're not familiar with limit switches, Anytime you accidentally run your machine outside of its actual workable area, you'll get where it like kind of slams into the side and it'll jitter or you can hear it grind a little bit. Limit switches stop that from happening. So limit switches are great when you're first learning how to use your laser. Next up, let's take a look at the laser head itself. So we have the updated lever switch here that just goes up and then you can manually move this up and down. But let's take a look at the other side here. One, you've got your capped off air assist. So if you're not using it, you can just pull the line and you got a little cap that goes on there. Let's look a little bit more behind here. So this guy is still your focusing billet, right? Works the same as it always has. This little guy right here is once you get it, start getting into thicker material, if you're gonna go like, if you wanna cut through like a 10 millimeter piece, I'm looking at my little reference sheet here and it says you wanna go to five. So we're on zero, but you can flip this guy and move this. Let's see if I can remember which way to go. Yeah, there we go. All the way up to five. And then you flip this guy back, and now you know you're, fo you're focused for 10 millimeter material. Then of course, let's talk safety. This new unit has a flame alarm on it. Fire lasts for more than three seconds. It will shut the laser down. And it has a collision sensor. So if the machine hits something or something bumps it or raises it, it'll shut it down as well. They've also done something that <laughs> some people probably aren't gonna like. But uh, now, instead of starting it from your computer, you're gonna have to physically come and press this button if you're using their software to start the laser. And that's just another safety precaution they're taking to make sure that people are actually in the room with their lasers. And of course, this unit is gonna work with the RA2 Pro. Speaking of, it comes with little red feeties. <laughs> Check them out. And of course, this unit will work with the honeycomb, uh, the air assist, the extensions, the enclosure, all of that stuff uh, will work with this. And I know somebody's gonna ask about an ex uh, in extended enclosure and I don't know anything about that yet. And they don't really mention it in the literature, but it feels like the tensioning mechanisms are, are better, more robust. And they didn't get rid of the mystery switch. But come on guys, I hear what you're saying. You're like, yeah, it's red and it's pretty, but let's talk about that ginormous laser. 
20 watt laser, four diode lasers that in a, some sort of mirrored fashion fire down through one another and create 20 watts of glorious, glorious power. So, flame sensor works. I forgot to hook up the air assist, so let's try that again. All right, so check that out. Like, that is one pass. I did two and three, and it looks like these guys were a little off and just didn't cut back there, but one pass did 18 mil. It's crazy. Okay, moment of truth time. First of all, like, air assist, no air assist. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so this is two passes, three passes, four passes. Those definitely cut all the way through pretty easy. This one is like barely. Woo! Cooking it on the back though a little bit. So not super practical, but that just cut through an inch thick piece of pine. That's crazy powerful. Check that out. That's about 50 millimeters across. That was 200 millimeters per second. For those of you that live in light burn or don't math, that is 12,000 millimeters per minute. And this thing will go up to 400 depending. That's nuts. And it's deep too for going that fast. Whew. That is one mean mama gem. Especially when you're marking on metal and ceramics and you're using some sort of transfer agent, so fast. Um, I was able to engrave on a flask, where is it? This is a test flask that I did before we had those increased speeds. I don't know if you can see this very well because it's kind of tiny, but I can run at like 70 to 80% power at 180 millimeters per second and get those dark results up at the top. That means doing these kind of things just got like so much faster. And then you see the kind of speeds this thing can engrave at. Bonkers. It's, in, it's insane. This, this machine is so good. It, it makes my heart hurt a little bit. It is that awesome. It is that amazing. I am dumbfounded with what this thing can do. It's a diode laser, kids. But hey, that's just my opinion. You guys tell me what you think down in the comments down below. And before I say adieu, or a doo-doo. I just wanna say thanks everybody for sticking around till this time in the video, especially my patrons. Every one of these guys deserves a nice, warm reach around from a stranger. Help them out. Especially my Boilermaker or top tier patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Chuck Faulkner, Derek Coates, Puffy Muffins, Andy the Viking, Dwight Smith, Todd Stewart, Paul Christensen, Jason Ayers, and Reed Means. I. You know what they say, it's five o'clock someplace. Here, it's five o'clock here, clinkies. But if you haven't already, head on over to my Patreon page, check it out, help me build Laser Nation. Join up if that's your thing. Now, until next time guys, thanks for playing. Get out there, get yourself an X-Tool D1 Pro, tell your wives, tell your husbands, I said it was okay. Now, I gotta get to work. Whoop. of that stuff will be Bye, Daddy. so this is what they're boasting with the 20 watt <clears throat> is it my well zoomed in or something so this is what they're boasting